Hello, and you're welcome to our series on SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. For today's session, we want to create an input template. For the purpose of our scenario, we are going to create um, a budgeted balance sheet. So we'll go straight into it. We've opened our, our Excel sheet, which has the EPM tab on, on, on it. So we we'll just go straight ahead, click on our EPM tab, and click on a new report to create our template. So clicking on a new report brings up the EPM report editor, which gives us the layout for us to um, drag and drop our dimensions and select our dimension members. So we'll just go ahead, pair our requirement uh, dimensions that we want our data to be saved on. So we'll go straight into that. Um, just drag our dimensions as per our requirements. And so you've selected an account which contains uh, uh, account details. So we want to see, display just the ID and the relationship we want to select as a base. So we're able to see, as we can see, this is a hierarchy and this is a parent which contains um, base levels. So we want to see our base levels. Okay. So we go ahead and select our, our dimension members. So that's what we'll be doing for the rest of our dimension. So we can save our data on them. Key figures we would want to save on amount. Because our time want to select 2020 total base, 2020 member and base, sorry. So member and base, so we're able to see a total of all the months. Our version, to enable, have, to enable us to have different versions of, of our data, we created different versions, which we can save our data on. Okay. Then our reporting currency, we want to select USD. Once we are done with our selection of our dimensions and our dimension members, we want to go on to our options tab, which enables us to do a bit of formatting to our, our, our input sheet. So we go ahead and make our selection. We have to remember to select um, under the data options, use as input form. If this option is not selected, then it means we are creating a report. So for an input template where we want to enter our data and save to the database, we always have to ensure that we have checked this, this, this box which says use as input form. Okay, so you want to repeat our row headers and our column headers. Then we can go ahead and click OK. OK, so we're able to see our dimension members and our dimension members which we selected. So from this point on, what we are going to do is just a bit of formatting, just formats to make the templates to look um, more presentable. So, we are also going to be using our EPM formula to get our description for, for the IDs, for the account IDs that we we have on um, on this column, which is the B column. 
So I'm not going to input our formula AP um, member. So immediately we are given our options of the different formulas which begins with EPM mem. So we double click on that, select the cell, and close it up. So immediately we see that our system gives us the description for this account ID. We can go ahead and drag this to replicate for for that. Okay, we want to also go ahead again using the EPM member description formula to bring our months. So we drag this. We also want to be able to see our, our report in currency, which is the USD. So once that is done, we can go ahead and hide all of these details since we wouldn't be needing them for um, capturing of the data. So at this point, we still want to go further to do some bit of um, formatting, add a bit more flesh to it. So we can open our formatting sheets by clicking on view formats, which brings up our formatting sheets make our selections and using the Excel we still have the functionality of our normal Excel available to us so using that we can format this Okay, we want to change the theme font. Mm -hmm. And go back to our sheet, our EPM tab, and click on the refresh button. So immediately we see that our formatting took effect. We now have to format our member description formula which we used because we didn't put that option on our formatting sheet to format it. So we now give details for our headers. And just do a bit more formatting. So at this point, we are just formatting, formatting our, our template. Okay. At this point, still formatting. Right, and so once this is done, we can go ahead and give this a name, budgeted balance sheet. Open it up a bit. Okay, so we have the option of also pasting our logo. Oh, this is just making our templates look more presentable. Okay, so once that's done, we can hide our headings and grid lines. 
And our template is ready. So at this point, we can go ahead and input um, our figure that we would want to save on our specific dimension member and click on our save button. So we are given a message if we want to continue to save this data, we go on yes. And we are able to see that our saving was successful. To also be go an extra mile to be sure if your data was saved, you can just delete this, click on the refresh button, and as you can see, it, it pops back up because it's been saved to the database. So if you delete it, you need to put a zero and save before you're not able to see whatever input you made. But if you just delete, it's still saved in the database. You just need to click on the refresh button and then your data reappears. So once this is done, we can go ahead and save our templates, whether to our desktop or to the server route, in which option we, we would prefer. So this brings us to the end of our session. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos on SAP Business Planning Consolidation, kindly Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.